Hi right, guys and welcome back to the Watch Scientist channel. As you can see, I'm, you can't see actually, uh, but for my shirt, I'm actually in Italy uh, at my family's home. And this is a very kind of impromptu video because I didn't plan it at all. But the main focus of this video is my Pelagos and I'm taking you through my thought of why I took the Pelagos with me on holidays and it's the only watch I took with me for the two weeks that I am in Italy. I am also joined by my cousin, say hi Chaos. Hey. And he has bought um, the Omega Seamaster and I think it's a really good choice you made, isn't it? Oh, of course. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you can tell he's given her... Pre-nouns. I've given her pre I don't know, maybe. Anyways, we are really in love with our watches and I will take you through this vlog type video. We're going to the beach. We're going for dinner tonight and I will just prove to you why this watch is perfect for the experience and have some b-roll. Enjoy. The point of this video being then why I chose the Pelagos to come with me to Italy. As you can see, I changed clothes because we're going on a dinner and the Pelagos is simply a watch that I can wear with very casual clothing as you saw earlier and with a little bit more casual dressed up. I wouldn't say completely suited up, the Pelagos is not the watch for that but it definitely holds up for everything in between and that's perfect plus the water resistance plus the robustness of the watch itself it's, it's just something good it's a good product and it has presence um, it does actually get many looks more than i thought it would get i think it's also the blue color and that's what, what's nice about the watch it kind of pops out and that's what I wanted it to be. And so... So, this is the retake. This is the morning after the dinner, as I realized that the footage of the video that I shot yesterday night was completely because of the roads here. I should have thought of that a bit earlier. But the main point I wanted to make about the Pelagos is that is the versatility and the fact that so far this watch, actually both of the watches, also my cousin's Seamaster that I have here with me, performed really well so far during the holidays. They did exactly what we wanted them to do apart from showing the time. Uh, was it's a nice bit of jewelry in that sense because they are elegant on one side the Seamaster definitely more than the Pelagos but also a sports watch on the other and it's kind of this mixture of design uh, within the watch that makes it so great um, one of the important points that I actually made yesterday was that the Seamaster actually you can suit it up even more than the Pelagos. The, the Pelagos with the titanium brushed dark finish. Yeah, you cannot really, I actually did it once and it's not that bad. You can wear it with a suit, but I think the Seamaster in that sense is definitely better to suit up uh, than the Pelagos because the Pelagos is a true tool watch. Everything that is uh, casual wear to a bit more classy casual you can wear the Pilatus and I think that's absolutely great that's why I chose the watch um, that's why it was so well uh, here in Italy that's why it was a good choice because most of the time I'm going to the beach I'm in a shorts uh, t-shirt or um, wearing my swimsuit it's not a swimsuit is it it's uh, in my swimming trunks whatever you call it 
um, and it looks great especially on the rubber strap and one of the plus sides of uh, for me for the Pelagos is that you actually get the two strap options uh, when you buy the watch. It's not as with the Seamaster that you either buy it on a rubber strap or you buy it on a steel uh, bracelet and then you have to kind of pay um, more money to get the one, uh, one or the other. Whereas with the Pelagos you pay one price and you get the two bracelet or strap options immediately and that's what I like about this watch as well. I can just change it whenever I want to. I don't have to buy anything else. I don't have to spend more money on the watch so that definitely for me is plus another plus size for me of the Pelagos is definitely that it is a tool watch it is very robust uh, I don't feel like I have to look after it too much it's not a fragile watch whereas other watches uh, scratch very easily um, here already I put it on the rubber strap on purpose before coming to Italy because obviously it doesn't scratch the steel bracelet the titanium bracelet actually scratches faster so that is a great option to have, especially for holidays. I wear this every day to the beach, um, to go into the water with it as it is supposed to be. Wear your watches, guys, especially your dive watches, go into the water with it, they are designed to do that. So why would I keep it uh, at home when I can just wear it and don't have to look after it? And that is why I can enjoy the watch. It's big, it's uh, robust, it's not fragile, you can bash it around obviously I try to take care of my watch I try to pay attention to it but I won't cry about the fact that it will have one or the other scratch because it's made to be worn um, some watches more than others obviously if I would have a golden day date from Rolex I would pay attention differently to it than I would with the Tudor and it's not only because of the price difference but also because of the material the way it wears the occasions for which I would wear the watch, it's not a watch you would necessarily wear every day, but this is just made to be worn every day. Uh, same goes for the Seamaster, and that's why I advised my cousin actually to buy this watch, and he listened to me, and I'm teaching him well how to wear his watch and not to baby it too much, because if you start babying these types of watches, then you will not wear even more expensive watches ever so what's the point in that watches are made to be uh, enjoyed and that's just my point of view but anyway I've been uh, waffling on too long uh, about um, the same kind of point but all in all uh, the last point I, I want to make is the price point um, obviously if you start spending more than a few hundred bucks, even 200 euros on a watch, it's not rational. It's not something necessary. Uh, a watch is a watch, it's a tool, it's something to tell the time. Obviously for us passionates, it's a lot more, but if you look at it from a rational point of view, which you shouldn't, um, it's never, it's never rational to, to spend that much money on a watch but in the whole in the big um, in the grand scheme of things the Tudor Pelagos as well as the Omega Seamaster are still watches that you can afford easier than other types of luxury watches this is entry-level luxury and it's a very good quality and in that sense if you want a watch that nicely adapts to many different situations that you can do a lot of things with then the Tudor, Pelagos as well as the Seamaster from Amiga and many other watches in that price category are a good choice because yes it's a lot of money but also you don't have to take care of it too much because they are very robust dive watches in general are very robust and so you can't really go wrong and we'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison quickly but I think I will do a separate video on a direct um, comparison between the two watches uh, some other time but these are some really great watches and yeah that's it from me today I hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog type video even though it was a bit of a fail yesterday 
But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below as it helps us a lot and see you next time. Ciao.